so Ted, you're saying there's two basic types of oak in, in the Irish ecosystem. There's the, the sessile and the penjunctus, if I'm correct. So could you tell me, how, how would I tell the difference between the two, the two of those? How would I distinguish one from the other? Okay, well first, oak is nature's highest achievement in Ireland. Okay. It is nature's highest achievement. It knows and will reject pollen from its ninth cousin. You and I are breeding with our fifth and sixth cousins. This tree already chemically knows not to receive male pollen from anything of a common great, 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 great grandfather or mother. So, this is a sessile oak. Sessile basically means, yeah. sessile means stemless or stemless. seated okay. or sedate. So it refers to the fruit of the acorn. The sessile oak, the acorn, does not grow on a stalk, it grows out of the twig. Right, okay. It grows out of timber. Right, so the, out of twig. Right, so the acorn is directly attached to the timber yes. part of, of the tree. Yes. Yeah. Whereas in the, that's sessile, meaning stemless. Stemless, yeah. Whereas the common oak uh, is what you've said earlier was the pendunculate oak. A penduncle means a stalk of a fruit. Okay. Some apples are penduncolate and some apples are sessile. Yeah. Yeah. Same, the same rule applies across botany okay. and into the realm and kingdom and the kingdom of the forest. The same rule applies. So this is a sessile tree, but we yeah. also know not only can we see the leaves are stalked, yeah. but also I would go further. I fancy that the body language or morphology of a tree the shape of a tree can mm. also sometimes, not always, yeah. can sometimes indicate. Okay. So we know it's sessile because sessile grows on rock, on slope rock. Mm. Which we have here. Which we have, and we have no upland yeah. limestone, it's not yeah. possible. There are areas of it, but generally limestone, the ancient sea of the tropical, the floor of the ancient tropical sea is beneath the old red sandstone. Yeah carved ten and a half thousand years ago from the last ice age. So sessile oaks rather, if you'd like to look up here Nisha, sessile oaks rather the rock. They don't need that much soil. They anchor into the rock and, and, and they and have a good well, they're well anchored. And the rock, whereas below the rock, us are the common oak. Yeah, the rock type here so is, is a sandstone. Is it, is it whatever old, 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 red, old, old, red, old red. Very yeah. very primitive stone. And uh, so we know you won't get a common oak growing on rock. Common belongs below in the valley bottoms near. Where there's much more soil and... And, and also more bases, uh, higher pH. Different because of the limestone is giving, is, is it a, a more of a lime? It's more limey in yeah. general down near the rivers. Yeah. The calcium is washed down out of the rock yeah. and it's usually accumulated. So that's why there's great beach and Sycamore likes fertility too, down near the river below. But the shape of this tree tells me it's sessile because yeah. it's straight. Okay, sessile straight. And yes. Interesting. interesting. Nearly always very, very straight, very commercial. It's Latin, the scientific name is Quercus Petrea, rock. Petrus yeah. rock. Yeah. Upon this rock, build your church, yeah. Peter. So it's the Petrea, um, and it's very, very straight. Yeah. Whereas a common oak yeah. is does not lose its shape. It's gnarled. Yeah. Um, it's canopy. It's this guy's canopy or crown is very high. Mm. It's up 12, 13 meters. Absolutely. Whereas the common oak, the pendunculate oak, with the acorns with a distinct stem, that oak, its crown begins at two meters. It begins to yeah. fork at two meters. And, and I think when we talk about oak, it's more the pendunculate that we normally regard as, 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 that's the classic form, I suppose, when we're talking about oak, isn't it really? That, uh, that occurs at the, low, the lower level. The well, it depends level. what class. Mm. If you're of the landlord class, you only ever know the pendunculate oak. If you're from the underclass and live as a tenant on the mountains, you'll only ever know the sessile oak. Hello. So really, the common oak was always, it was known the Hearts of Oak was an orange movement founded in 1795. Their symbol was the common oak, the branch of common oak with the stemmed acorn. And the symbol of the Catholic tenantry, I've been told by through mm. friends from Alice Milligan, whose 
five great uncles died as insurgents in the Battle of Antrim in 1798, that the, the, the tenantry, mm. those with a vision of the United, United Irishmen, yeah. their flag carried a harp with the symbol of a sessile oak and a sessile leaf. Mm. Do you see? Mm. So there was, the, there was apartheid even in the, the woodland. So the landlords only ever knew the vast, low-lying, rich, polite landscapes. Yeah. And the indigenous peoples only ever knew, really, the rocks. Um, and the, far, so, the far less fertile soils. Of, of well, the, of I mean, any upper. garrison yeah. does not want a, a, a subject people to grow big boys. So as you're moved onto the rocks, your children grow smaller yeah. and weaker. Stunted. Stunted. Yeah. It's only now we're actually regaining 6.2 and 6.3, according to research. After the famine, we had actually average reduced to about five, between 5.7 five, and 5.9. Five, it's only now that we're getting our nutrition back okay. that we're actually returning to an oak, the oak people that we, that we are, really. Mm. That we are a forest people. We're an oak people with there's no oak. Yeah. This is a rare place. Rackham claims... There's one quarter of 1% left in Ireland of ancient native woodland. So could you say, just say that again for emphasis? I mean, that's... that's Rackham in 1986 yeah. describes what he believes left in Ireland of the original or yeah. aboriginal woodland is one-fifth of 1%. One-fifth of 1%. I think that'd be 0. 0.025. Yeah. Uh, that's what we all have left. We have about 1.1% cover native woodland yeah but i'm talking about places like this with long memory long mm. lineage long continuity a place that confers stability with on itself mm. and on through hedgerows and other corridors into the wider countryside do you see what i'm saying Absolutely. we have seven bats here i would argue eight Across the road we've detected lesser horseshoe bat, our rarest bat, that's an Annex 2 species. All of the other bats are Annex 4, they're strict protection species. So the fact that there are bats here tells us that there is just the right, the right presence of insects. If you want to draw bats to your home, they are addicted to honeysuckle. Tawhalen or squailga, Tawhalen, they're addicted. Because the moths that they live in, they live on, the moths that live on honeysuckle at night, as honeysuckle amplifies its fragrance just at sunset, the moths are drawn party time, discotheque okay. time, okay. and the bats have the their bats. breakfast. Okay. And then, of course, if it's not full moon, bats rarely are out on full moon. If it's not full moon, the owl is always like the lily, uh, the lily of the alley. Uh, or the lily of the, the okay. lily of the alley, yeah. a lady of easy virtue. She snaps up the bats along the way. So there's an entire ecosystem yeah. there. But first, you must have the trees to support the honeysuckle, so that the laser bats that feed on the insects over the canopy of the wood are there. The pipistrelles, the dobentons by the water, they are feeding on the insects by the water. We have a lot of long-eared here, long-eared bats here. 